Hello students, I'm Anshul Sharma, your educator. In today's video, we are going to discuss another concept and this concept is also from Teaching Aptitude first unit and today we are going to discuss about the components of learning. So let me show you the question. This was asked in your exam 2022. The fundamental factors are given in list 1 and in list 2 attributes of learning are given. So we have drive, cue, response and reinforcement and we have reward, motivation, stimulus and action. So how will you connect the dots, the list 1 and list 2, how will you join them? So these were your options. Let us see the answer. So the answer is B, that means A would be joined with second and B with third. A with second and B with third. C with 4 and D with 1. C with 4 and D with 1. It was an easy question. Let us understand the concept and you will understand it, this as well. So what is a drive? Drive is a motivation to do something. Whenever you want to learn something, you should be motivated. It can be self-motivated or it can be externally motivated as well. So intrinsic, extrinsic, but motivation is important. That is the drive to do something. Then we have Q. Q are what? These are the stimulus that are provided that would instigate a person or make them curious to do a particular thing. Then there is a response. A response is an action that will be that you will be taking for the given cue or the stimulus. And then comes the reinforcement. Now the reinforcements are the reward. If you do something wrong, it can be punishment. If you do something right, there can be rewards. So this word of reinforcement comes from the operant conditioning that we also discussed in our class that is talked by B.F. Skinner. So B.F. Skinner said that if you give remuneration, if you give reward to someone, if you give them reinforcements, they will tend to, they tend to do those things again and again. But if you scum them, if you beat them, if you scold them, if you punish them, then they will stop doing that particular thing. Now let us study the concept. So the learning is a very important psychological process that determines human's behavior. Learning can be defined as relatively permanent change in the behavior that occurs as the result of the experience or the reinforced practice. So if you again and again practice something and there is again and again an experience that is provided, then what will happen? There will be a behavioral change and learning is nothing but a behavioral change that the teacher intended you to have. So these are, there are certain processes and certain components of learning. So the components of the learning process are what? They are drive, cue, that is the stimulus that you have, response, there is reinforcement and then there is retention. Retention comes at the end when you absorb the things on your own. According to Miller and Donald, in 1941, they said that there are four essential factors involved in learning. These are the cue, the response, the drive and the reward. You always work for the reward. In this simple terms, in the presence of the appropriate signal, when there is an appropriate signal that is provided, signal means cue. When you know you have to do something, this is a cue to you, a signal, the person responds with a particular behavior that they are trained in or they will be, of course, they can be conditioned in that particular manner also. So they will respond in a particular manner or behavior. If there is an adequate reward only that is based on the learning, then only they will be, you know, again and again performing the action. If there is no reward, then they will not behave in that particular manner. The entire process will not take place, however, if the individual does not want the reward. So this reward is the drive to do that particular thing. If you want to achieve that particular thing, you will have a drive, zeal and enthusiasm to do that particular thing. Otherwise, you won't do this. The normal order after learning has taken place would then be what? It is drive, it is cue, response and reward. When we want something, we see a original, that is, we see a signal that is available. We see that signal. We try to get it, 
the and of course there are rewards that we have for our own actions another important aspect of the social learning is that both the drives and rewards can be acquired so we all know that in this social learning aspect that the drives can be acquired you can acquire the drives the teacher can create these drives by given situations like operant conditioning and what it can be the classical conditioning and there can be rewards that can also be acquired and we are learning for these two purposes only they are like the pillars so the components of the learning process are drive q response response and uh, and reinforcement and retention let us read one by one about these kinds of cues that we have or the components that we have drive drive refers to the internal motivation or desire to perform a particular action it is a psychological state that energizes and directs the behavior towards a particular goal and a reward if i know i have to clear my ugc net exam in first go i will solve more and more pyqs that is my drive then q a q is the stimulus or an environmental event that triggers a particular person triggers a particular response or a behavior it can be visual it can be auditory it can be olfactory it can be tactile what is tactile it is kinesthetics the body movement the psychomotor developments or the signal that will what do what this will inform or this will inform the organism in the presence and the absence of a particular event and an object so if you have all of these cues then you will perform the action these are like triggers that will trigger your behavioral pattern and you will do that particular thing then we have response so a response is an observable behavior or an action that an organism takes in response to the particular cue now this is a response because i have a drive to perform that action i already have a cue and that is because i know a benefit that i will get out of it i will now response take action so the word is taking action here the with response to the particular cue or the stimulus it can be a physical movement it can be something vocal it can be psychological as well then there will be reinforcements without reinforcements you won't work reinforcement is any consequence that increases the livelihood of a particular behavior being repeated in future so you will again and again repeat something because you are getting rewards out of it because reinforcement is there this can be positive when there is a desirable outcome it can be negative negative means you will remove it then there are rewards so reward refers to the desirable outcome or consequences that follows the behavior it can be tangible it can be intangible that depends on the motive or the objective that you have decided or it can be positive reinforcement that reinforces the behavior and it is more likely to occur in future and if it is a negative reinforcement a negative reward is given to you you will not do it in the future so it is not likely to be repeated so the, what are the basic things that we learn the elements and the components of learning are what they are motivation you have some drive to perform there are cues these are the stimulus there are response and reinforcement reinforcements are like the rewards that we get these are the rewards that we do the things we'll get the rewards if we don't do that particular thing of course if if we are getting punishment out of it we'll try not to do that particular thing so this is the basic method or the syntax of learning whenever you are learning something you have to be highly motivated to do that particular thing if you are not motivated then you will stop the process of learning this is the very first component after that you know that there are some cues some stimulus that i need to go on learning i know that i have to cook my food because i am hungry these are the cues the feeling the other uh, feeling of hunger is here the cue that you will get you will have some response and of course there will be reinforcement and reward of having a good food this is how you can solve the different questions in your 
paper. I hope I made the topic clear to you. If not, you can write it in the comment section and I will surely reply to you. Thank you so much.